The Lion King is directed by Jon Favreau and tells the story of the original animated classic. Quite literally, the original animated classic. Now I am going to put a spoiler warning up here, but if you haven't seen the original Lion King, then what are you doing? This is the exact same story, so I'm not too worried to spoil things, if that makes sense. So I'll go over the benefits of the film, one of them being obviously that it is a good story, so it is compelling to watch at all times, even though it's a story you've seen before. It is a lot of fun to still watch, and I do enjoy the music cues coming back into it. I felt a lot of nostalgia in those moments, but it is the same music. Visually, this film is also incredible, no surprise there. Jon Favreau's Jungle Book was also incredibly visually stunning, and that is also a retelling of an animated classic. In Jon Favreau's Jungle Book, though, he found ways to expand on the story. Yes, it was a lot of shot for shot, but it also expanded on the story, and the entire thing wasn't animated, even though a great majority of it was. We still had a human character that we can latch onto. As to here, everything is animated. So the emotions aren't there as they were in the original classic, because it's just like looking at real lions because that's just how great the animation is. But I did feel like the emotionless faces did take away from the story at the same time. I must say though, listening to Donald Glover and Beyonce sing Can You Feel the Love Tonight was actually better than the original. I did enjoy that rendition of the song better than I did the original. I actually found the voice actors to be great across the board for this film. No problems there, except they are saying almost the same lines. I don't even want to say it's almost the same lines, they are the exact same lines as the original. There have been no script changes except that they have taken things away from Rafiki, who is one of my personal favorite characters, so I had problems with that. Obviously Simba loses his father, like he does in the original Lion King, and it is exactly the same thing. So it did lack emotional weight for me, being such a fan of the original classic. Which, by the way, I think is a perfect film by itself. So, this almost felt unnecessary. I do have to say, though, the action in the end is probably also better than it was in the original. It felt more epic, it felt more realistic. I enjoyed watching it here more than I had in the original. The best way to sum up this film for me, anyway, is to say that it is a better theater experience than it is a film by itself. It is a lot of fun at the theater, and I do recommend watching it there. However, if you want to go see a film that expands on a really great story, then you're probably not going to get that. You might as well stay at home and watch the original. However, if you just want to go to get an experience and get some nostalgia, I do recommend this film for that. It is a good time in the theater. I'm not going to say that it's not. There are just a lot of flaws here. If they make this and then go with some sequels, I can really get on board with this film a lot more than I am right now because Lion King 2 was not great to begin with. The concept was good, but the execution was not. If they could do that concept again and execute it better in this sort of live action looking animation, then I am okay with them doing this film and I 100% see why it was necessary. But if they're not going to do a sequel, then I don't see a lot of point to doing this other than it's just kind of cool to see upgraded animation with the story and it's a lot of fun to see in the theater but for the most part this sequel really does feel unnecessary even though I had a good time with it I know that sounds conflicting and it's gonna be cool when it comes out yes it's gonna look great in 4k and I can't wait to do a comparison test between the two and maybe this version will actually grow on me more upon rewatch I did have fun with it so I'm not trying to say it's a complete waste of time because there is still something about it that I liked and it's probably just the fact that it had that upgraded animation and it is added to this very classic story however again there are things taken out that I don't think should have been taken out. I do hope that there is an extended edition on the 4K, because that will be great to watch. 
So I was a little disappointed in the Lion King, but all in all, it still is a good time. I'm going to go ahead and give the Lion King a B-. minus. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it very much. If you want to continue to support the channel, please hit that subscribe button below. Hit the like button below. I will also be leaving my Twitter and Instagram in the description below, as always, so be sure to follow me there. Much appreciated. I've been Don Martino. This has been a review of the Lion King, and I will see you guys next time.